pomada olives, you know. Um, you said you have six and seven. Oh, okay, this is one thing I want to talk about. Now we will go really down the rabbit hole, okay. Is hydroxychloroquine um, effective? It sure seems that way. And there is more and more evidence, and we're going to have next week all kinds of doctors on. Okay, note to Nico, doctors for next week. And uh, Dr. Dean Hart would be my number one. Um, maybe Dr. Stephen Greer. Although Stephen Greer says that our show is not up to the uh, technical quality that he would like it to be before he comes back on. Hello. Um, so this was on OAN yesterday. Um, and um, one of our viewers sent this in to me, and I thought it was good. So the FDA, and I did some homework on it afterwards to see what's going on. There is science, not anecdotal evidence. There are studies out there that are showing that hydroxychloroquine does actually have some value. And I'm not a doctor, okay? Um, and these studies also talk about, you know, weird side effects in some people, which happens. But it's been on the market for like 60 years, and they use it to treat lupus and everything else, okay? But the FDA, put that back, Nico. The FDA, the Food and Drug Administration, rejected a Michigan hospital's request to treat COVID-19 patients with hydroxychloroquine. So you start wondering, like, really wondering. At least I start wondering, like, heavily, like... If you know the drug has, you know, minor side effects and it's been around for 60 years, um, why wouldn't you just allow them to use it? These doctors, these are accredited doctors. This is an accredited hospital. They know um, that their license is on the line if they're misprescribing something. So they're not going to give it to people. The one thing of the Hippocratic Oath that the doctors take and the hospitals conform to is do no harm. Okay, so hydroxychloroquine, unless you have a heart condition, it creates uh, rapid heartbeats and it causes, you know, some, some arrhythmia in some patients, okay? If they have heart problems or blood pressure problems like me, um, don't give it to them. And the doctors are out there to make those decisions. That's why they call them doctors. That's why they're board certified doctors. So if some quack doctor, some witch doctor, is gonna give somebody that's gonna kill them, then the FDA should step in, okay? Now, why, why, why? Is hydroxychloroquine gonna kill you? No, I doubt it. The president said he was taking it for weeks, okay? Um, but here's the, more, here's the more important thing. The one company that's supposedly speeding through the trials, the phase two, phase three trials, is Moderna. Moderna, M-O-D-E-R-N-A, Moderna. Look it up, okay? Moderna is run by two people who were formerly aides to Dr. Fauci. So they, they worked under Dr. Fauci. They were at his hand. They're his students. He mentored them. He made them where they are, built their career. I mean, I'm sure they're great in their own right. But hydroxychloroquine works or at least there's a lot of anecdotal evidence that it works, okay? And um, we, had, we had the whole story about Dr. Simone Gold, who's uh, another board-certified doctor who held the, the white coat rally where all these doctors came and spoke out about the positives of, of hydroxychloroquine. Um, now, the FDA is saying you cannot use it. So are they, are they tying, are they ignoring the science? or they know something we don't know, why don't they put something out and say, here's why we can't do it, because it kills people or it hurts people. The bigger story, if you ask me, is Anthony Fauci has a personal vested interest in Moderna coming up with a vaccine and the US government buying 300 million doses from them, okay? And if you do a little, deep, a little dig a little deeper, okay? Anthony Fauci has a number of patents around coronavirus vaccines and cures. He has a number of patents to fight the um, malaria-like symptoms, viruses, and all this other stuff. Um, look, I was proud that Anthony Fauci 
was in charge of the National Allergy and Infectious Disease Association in our country. I was proud of that because he's Italian American and he's been there through many, many, many different administrations. So I figure he's a straight shooter and he's, a, you know, um, I want to be proud again. Um, and I'm the biggest capitalist around. You know what? If I had a patent on some vaccines and two of the kids that used to work for me were running a company that made the vaccine, trust me when I tell you, I would do everything in my power to funnel all the government business to that company because I would make millions. And I want to make millions. And I can't begrudge Anthony Fauci for wanting to make millions, but is it at the expense of thousands of Americans who are being deprived of a possible remedy because the capitalist goal is to sell 300 million vaccines. I don't know. Thank you, Amal, for sending me that. It was a really good story. And, I, and keep them coming. Rita sends me, everybody sends me stuff, okay? Send it in. There's no place on television where you can be sure um, if you send in something good, it's going to be on air, okay? Like us, subscribe to us, leave a comment, thumbs up. Everybody hit one or two engagement right now before we end the show because it all means a lot. I need them. I need them. We're almost at a point of breaking these algorithms, and it's going to happen, and we're going to work on it even more on Monday. Same bat time, same bat channel, more liquid lunch, and Roger Stone, tune in.